Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Bhaskar De. I am an eye specialist. With a wide range of information regarding our eyes, this is my video series, Our Eyes. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Click on thumbs up button and press bell icon so as to receive messages for new uploads. The topic for this video is Physiology of Vision. With our eyes, we see everything all around us. It appears so easy for us to see a thing. But have you ever wondered how do we see a thing? What are different processes that occur inside the eye and brain while seeing an object? Well, it's not so simple. It's a complex process that starts with light rays entering the eye through cornea and ends in perception of images at brain. Let's find out how it happens. Please watch this video till the end. To know physiology of vision, you should have the knowledge of different parts of eyeball. Because unless you know the parts, it may be difficult for you to understand this video. If you want to know in details, I request you to watch my video on anatomy of eyeball. For your convenience, here I will mention in brief the essential parts related to this video. Look at a midline section of an eyeball from side. There are four refracting media in eyeball, one after another. Cornea, aqueous humor, lens and vitreous humor. Cornea is the clear transparent front round portion of outer layer. It is one of the refracting media and through it light enters the eyeball. Aqueous humor is the clear watery fluid in the anterior chamber of the eye. Lens is the transparent biconvex structure inside the eye. It also works as autofocus system of eye. Vitreous humor is a transparent jelly-like material in vitreous cavity, the large space inside. Iris is a colored screen on the front portion of the eye. Pupil is a round opening at the center of iris through which light passes and goes backwards. Iris and pupil together act as exposure control system of eyeball and allow only required amount of light rays inside the eye. Retina is the innermost layer. It's a light sensitive layer and contains mainly nerve fibers and specialized cells such as rods and cones and ganglion cells. This layer is engaged in visual process. Optic nerve is the cord-like structure on the back side of the eyeball. Optic nerve carries visual information from retina towards the back side of the brain. Now we will know the actual visual process or how do we see everything. Suppose there is a light in the room and there is a red colored object. Light rays from the source first fall on the object and from there the reflected light rays from the object go towards the eye. Light rays first fall on the front surface of the cornea and then pass through it. Here some refraction or bending of light rays takes place. Rays then pass through anterior chamber of eye and fall on the crystalline lens and then pass through it. Here again some refraction takes place. Behind the lens, the upper light rays go downwards and lower light rays go upwards. The right rays towards left and left rays towards right. The rays then pass through vitreous humor and fall on retina, the light sensitive layer. On retina, an image of the object is formed but it is upside down or reversed. Now you must be wondering why upside down, we do not see anything like that. Because the light rays go in opposite directions behind lens, the image is inverted. But we do not see anything like that is because the visual process has just started and we haven't seen anything as yet. The rods and cone cells also called photoreceptors are stimulated by these light rays. Then a photochemical reaction takes place. Later, some biochemical reaction. As a result of these reactions, the light energy is converted into electrical energy or signals. 
which signals visual information goes towards brain via optic nerve. Signals first go to optic chiasma, a nerve crossing in the brain, and then through some other parts of visual pathways such as optic tract, lateral geniculate body, and optic radiations to visual cortex. Through various processes inside brain, image of an object is now perceived at visual cortex. Visual cortex is situated within occipital area of brain. Here the object is seen upright. This is in short the visual process. The actual process is very complex, but the whole process is done within a fraction of a second. So, it may appear unbelievable and not correct, but it's quite true that we do not see anything with our eyes. We see everything with our brain. An example will clear this doubt. If optic nerve is damaged due to injury or function of optic nerve is lost due to disease, we will lose vision even if eyeball remains absolutely normal and without any defect. But it's not that only damage to optic nerve will cause loss of vision. Diseases or damage to any parts of the eyeball such as cornea, iris and ciliary body, choroid, retina, lens, vitreous humor, optic nerve, parts of visual pathways and visual cortex will also cause dimness of vision or loss of vision. Next is visual perception. When an eye looks at an object, it's not that it only sees the object. Four visual sensations also occur. They are light sense, form sense, sense of contrast and color sense. Light sense. This is a faculty or ability that permits our eyes to perceive light in all its gradations of intensity. It means ability to see in different types of illumination, bright or dark. For example, the red colored object can be seen in different types of illumination from bright light to dark unless it can hardly be seen in extreme darkness. Then is form sense. It is the faculty or ability that enables our eyes to perceive shape of an object, whether round or square or triangular etc. Visual acuity testing with Snell's distant vision chart is an example. Then is sense of contrast. It's a faculty or ability to perceive slight changes in luminance in different regions of the same object that are not separated by definite borders. Identification of different grades of black areas to white areas can be done with this faculty. And then is color sense. It is the faculty or ability to distinguish between different colors as excited by lights of different wavelengths. Simply put, it is the ability to know which color the object is made of, as you can see in different colored objects. In light sense, both rods and cones of retina are involved, but form sense and color sense are mainly cone functions. Then binocular vision and stereopsis. What is binocular vision or sometimes called binocular single vision? When our both eyes look at an object, two different images are formed on retina, one in each eye. But in normal eye condition, we do not see two objects, we see only one. This is because our eyes and brain together have the abilities to work together and produce a single image of the object. This is binocular vision. In other words, Binocular vision is a coordinated use of both eyes and brain to produce a single impression of an object in space. Binocular vision has three grades. Number one, simultaneous macular perception. It means ability to see two slightly dissimilar objects, one in each eye, simultaneously or at the same time. Number two, fusion. It is the ability to see two images formed one in each eye and fuse or blend them into one. And stereopsis, it is the ability to perceive third dimension or depth perception. 
it is the ability by which one can judge the position of objects or parts into objects such as which one is in front which is behind which is further behind etc there are many advantages of binocular vision but the important one is stereopsis or stereoscopic vision as you can see in the picture to summarize physiological process responsible for eyesight consists of light rays from an object pass through different optical and refracting media of eyeball formation of image on retina of each eye photochemical and biochemical process to convert light energy into electrical energy or signals signals pass through first optic nerve and then other nerve paths to visual cortex of brain further processing in visual cortex perception of image of the object further processing and compilation of two images and then binocular single vision with stereopsis this is in short physiology of vision although the whole process is very complex but it takes fraction of a second some milliseconds to be precise thank you for watching this video if you like it please click thumbs up and bell icon subscribe to my channel and share it thank you